Welcome back. So Telga Resources today has raised 20% on the back of an announcement. Non-binding offtake term sheet Swedish lithium iron battery anode. So they made a deal with this company, ACC, Mercedes Benz, all these companies. We all, if you, you just think logically what's going to happen. Uh, Telga's got this big high grade mine. They've been doing the research. Um, yeah, a car company's going to pay them and get that graphite. So we all knew this was coming. They'll probably dwindle down. Um, I wouldn't buy Telga myself just because I like to buy companies before they become a big size. Um, so around here, that's why I try and pick the companies. Easier said than done. And then out here, if you held it for a year, you could sell it on a peak. Know you've done pretty well. Uh, can this company rise further? Well, the risk to reward there is not for. It's not a big in favor of risk to reward. You're paying three hundred sixty-one million, and then they have to raise for the first stage. They have to raise four hundred eighty-four million. So where's that money going to come from? They're going to have to. Um, raise that money and the person giving that money is going to want a slice of the pie so they're going to want some of those shares meaning dilution so another thing with this graphite prices could grow meaning these numbers will grow as well meaning the two and a half year payback for this could become a one year payback and they could be printing money so what happened with lithium miners they had these sort of numbers but then the lithium press price went up heaps and these numbers all change, making them way better value and making them shoot up. So that could happen to Telga. It's hard to see from now. It's hard to know if the graphite will go into such a demand that they can charge 20,000 ton for this toll. I'm not sure how much toll node C sells for, but it's a finished product, so it could be eight to $10,000 a ton. It costs them $2,000 a ton. So I'm not sure on that. But all I know roughly that if the price of graphite, raw graphite goes up, these figures will they'll make more money if they haven't gave off all their tons selling off to buy that capex. So a player might say we'll give you the mil give you the four hundred and eighty four million but we want eighty percent of your production at a good price. So yeah that's how it is. So decent company but it's not gonna go crazy like you'd I'd rather much rather try and pick a company around here before these announcements come and they grow big so companies could happen to not saying it will mason graphite 40 million dollars for this company they've got a big resource this is old old um slightly old thing when was this 2021 so not that old but things change on this map so mason graphite telgas up here as well so they've got huge resource mason graphite they just haven't had all the limelight that telga has they haven't done all the downstream that Telga has, and they're not close to car factories, but they do own a big high-grade graphite resource, which probably will be needed in the future. Um, yeah, so I'll say that I'd rather buy a smaller company, run a score, another big one that's grown. Yeah, so small companies, you can buy the next one for Mason Graphite, shares the deposit for only $4 million, just so they haven't drilled the amount that Mason Graphite has but in that that formula you can easily double a lot easier than someone like Telga could double their market cap you get the point if you can buy small and buy before the announcements comes out like some company might buy into Mason Graphite and that's where you make the money so I'm not sure of the announcements that came here but you bolt here knowing that well they're gonna need that graphite in the future they got a good high brigade resource then something happens here Someone buys into it, announcements come out, and it's up here. That's where the money's made, in my opinion. So, and that's good thing about Graphite. I think there will be shortfall and a rising in the price, making everything more attractive. Because something's got to give, like, they got to raise that money and they got to. You get the point, like, people say we need that Graphite. Well, you say, well, you have to pay us more for it because we're going to have to pay this much for the mine, etc. It's not worth us even risking that unless you're going to pay this amount. So I think graphite will have to rise and make all these more attractive to get them off the ground to go into the lithium iron battery revolution, which will probably get taken out by sodium iron 
later in the decade because sodium ion batteries have more um, abundant materials. So I think the most least abundant material in lithium ion battery is the lithium. That's why it's so high right now. Well, there's the nickel as well, but we're actually going to LFP, lithium iron phosphate. So we can get rid of that nickel and just have iron phosphate. And they can make that good as well, so it might have more energy density than nickel um, with some of the batteries. Either way, the lithium iron phosphate is probably good enough. And if you're rich, you can buy a nickel-based battery, go a bit faster with a bit less weight. You get the idea. But either way, you're going to need graphite. They're trying to make silicon anodes, but that seems to fire well off as well. Um, they can get to about 20% silicon safely, something like that, but they will need the graphite, I'd say, for the next decade till they master something else, which is, yeah, not done overnight, so it is probably a while away. So I'm, I'm putting my money on us needing graphite for the next 10 years until something else, well, is figured out. So this company right now, Talgo, could become huge when we start in that graphite. It could go to 5 billion, who knows. I just don't know. The graphite, I don't know exactly how much graphite's in the earth and how much it's going to cost to get out and how rare it'll be and how much people will pay for it. Um, so that's it for me. So I just think graphite is a good investment, not particularly Talgo. Though I just want to say that try and get in a company like Talgo before they come like Talga, and that's where the money is made, in my opinion. So thanks for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.